There has been a lot of snow this week. Too much snow. Especially in USA. Some political meteorologists suggest that this was the first offensive of the Russian strategic winter forces. We recently informed you of their likely formation. Как в известной русской сказке, приговаривать мерзни мерзни волчьи хвост. Meanwhile, an epic showdown between Santa Claus and Father Frost took place in Vladivostok, Russia. Two worlds came together in a hand-to-hand -hand battle in the struggle for the right to trade energy. China lifts anti-COVID restrictions. But it may turn out that life without a lockdown is worse than the most severe lockdown. There is simply no one to work at this post office, and parcels are dumped right on the ground. Oh poor Chinese Santa. The epidemic of fighting monuments continues. In Ukraine, in Odessa, the authorities dismantled the monument to Catherine II. This, of course, is the business of the inhabitants of Odessa, they can hate their history and Russian heritage as much as they like, but here's what's strange. Catherine II was, as you know, the Russian Empress. But it was she who founded the city of Odessa. And further. She was a purebred ethnic German. After meeting with US President Biden, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky visited Warsaw, where he met with his Polish counterpart. We do not know what the intrigue was in this visit, but we know for sure that this intrigue was sweet. Very, very, very sweet. Andrei Duda said everything with his facial expression. Just look. And some water at the end. More precisely, there is a lot of water, a lot, more than snow, in Buffalo. But the abundance of water does not prevent divers from celebrating the new year at Baikal. And at the end, a piece of history. 100 years ago, the USSR was created, the country of the great social experiment, the Red Empire, the evil empire, the country of victorious socialism, as soon as it was not called. The experiment ended on December 25, 1991.